All right, world, YouTubers, back to this mastering session in Acid Pro 7. All right, so in the previous video, we did equalization. And this is what we got right here. You know, it's not too pretty, but it's just something. Something to reference off of right, as of right now. Let's see, we're going to do it like that. Bring that back. Raise that up a little bit higher. We gonna raise. Yeah, like that. All right. So, all right. So, in this video tutorial, we're gonna be talking about compression. All right. Now, in mastering. You can use a regular type of compression, like a standard compression, but the best type of compression, and note, the best type of compression for a master is a multi-band compressor. And in this video, I'm going to be using the, the Buzz Comp made by Steinberg, the Linear Phase 5 Band Compressor. So I have other bands and limiters by them as well. But uh, this is a great compressor. I don't know if many people use it, but I love it. Like, I love it. It comes with a limiter. It's just what that is to me. You know, I got an uh, updated one too. But on this, this particular song, I'm using this one. And in this, in this compressor, you can uh, select the, 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 the hertz or the, the you know the kilohertz and the hertz or where you want the uh select the compression you know you got four different types of compression right here so all right so with this you you know you want to just first just play the song and analyze what needs to be done to any section of the uh, of the song. So let's play it for a minute. Oh, let's play it. Let's cut the compressor off first. All right, we go to the compressor. We click it on. It already has set settings that I already selected for it. And as you can see, some of the settings have changed. Have changed due to the way I equalize the track. So, all right. So let. Let's play it again, and we're gonna we're gonna do an analysis while we're playing it, and we're gonna see what needs to be compressed because the uh, compressor shows you, as you see right here, it shows you a level of where the where the uh, actual volume is coming in at, coming in at, and for me, this is just my opinion. I like to compress everything, even though I mean they say if you don't if you don't need compression. Don't do it, don't, you know, I mean, you know, it's just, I don't know. This is how I like to do it. I like to keep everything boxed out and just nice and neat in a, you know, in a, uh, you know, in that, in right there in that square sound. So, let's listen to it. Well, I cut the volume down on the speakers, but I just want you to see what's going on. As you can see, my bass has got cut down a little bit. So I'm going to take the threshold to the the bass to about 22. And you can start to see it right here. Right in this area right here. That it's starting to compress. Right, 
and on the attack you want to keep the attacks low you know you you don't want to have them too high five milliseconds 2.5 milliseconds you know keep it low you know that was a mastering settings you know and i got the release on an auto 25 percent and the auto type i got a dynamic range and it just really brings out brings out whatever i'm compressing so the kicks are being brought out okay and you see right here i have the threshold at 12 but it's not even reaching the peak of 12 right here not even reaching it so let's bring it down a little bit more let's bring it to like a, a 14 and a half and you can see right here in this area now it's starting to be compressed and it sounds so good let me let you listen All right, let's continue. So, and, and and that's pretty much really, really what I wanted to show you. You know, how to bring down those thresholds and where to bring them at. And like I say, these are the best types of compressor for mastering. And this compressor, especially because it, it gives a display. Anything that can give you a display of what you're actually working with, like what level of volume you're working with, is great. Because, like, say it's, it's coming up to a peak of 9. I can't hear that. I can't hear that on those speakers. You know, I, I mean, we don't know what no 9 volume sound like. So, I mean, I'm glad it's showing that, hey, this area right here, this specific area right here is going up to a 9. So you might need to compress that to a nine, even though it's not going up to a nine. It's, it's really these this area is kind of low, you know. So I got it like at a twenty, you know, and it just really keeps everything nice and neat, and it compresses everything. Uh, you know, not too much compression, but I just compress it at its maximum peak that it goes to. And like I say, uh, you know ratios you know you want to keep those ratios very low like 2 to 2.0 to 1 2 to 5 2.5 to 1 you know uh 1.5 to 1 you don't want to do the ratios too much like a 8 to 1 that's too much ratio on a master you want to keep them low you know and and uh this thing has the option of a limiter but I don't choose the limiter you know, because I, I want to limit separately from this this program, but as you see, this the uh, the multi band compressor it um, it just compresses the track nice and neat, and it's not like a red lip compressor that you use on a vocal, because that type of compressor is just going to compress everything. You know, and you don't want that. Like, I mean, it might sound good, it might not. You know, it's better to compress separately, you know, in my opinion. Really an expert opinion, too. But, I mean, I didn't see, I didn't see people use uh, just a straight compressor on the whole track. But, like I say, whatever goes, whatever uh, sounds best to you, go with it. There's no certain way to master, you know. But compression, that's the way, you know, you, you, you might need that in your master, so. All right, so uh, that's that on compression. Stay tuned, cause I'm gonna be showing you. Uh, gonna be showing you the video on limiting.